Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, where today we will discuss the best CPU cooler on the market. So without further ado, let's jump into the video. Oh, by the way, links to all the featured products are given in the description below. Do check it out. Corsair was one of the first hardware companies to bring all-in-one liquid coolers to business. It only fits that its most advanced cooler has dethroned our former king. The H115i has always been a strong contender for the throne of best liquid CPU cooler, only closely beaten by NZXT's Kraken X62. The renewed H115i Platinum is a definite improvement, but NZXT's Infinity Mirror CPU block design was and remained one of the most attractive RGB implementations we've seen in any product. It wasn't until seeing Corsair's latest contender, the H115i Platinum, that we've been able to let the Kraken go. The bottom of the H115i RGB Platinum comes decorated with a rectangular patch of pre-applied thermal paste on the satin-finished copper cooling base. The mounting bracket seam is noticeable from the side. The mounting brackets slide into grooves at the block's base, snapping into position on either side. As usual, a pair of 90-degree swivel fittings help make installation and tubing placement a bit more comfortable. With its bigger size and RGB fans, Corsair's H115i RGB Platinum is more significant, bolder, and brighter than its ancestors. Combining higher-than-average noise with normal cooling capacity kept it from being the best. EVGA's newest CLC liquid coolers are our preferred value pick because of their superior performance per dollar. Matching cooling of the most advanced chip chillers from Corsair and NZXT, the 240mm CLC costs a fraction of the value while only sacrificing a few characteristics. The included fans can get very loud at full speed, but we found the cooler to operate well enough without ever reaching those levels. It is a self-contained, all-in-one liquid cooling solution for your system. It's cooperative with a broad range of current and future Intel and AMD sockets and installs simply. Due to its 240mm radiator, you'll have to install it in a place made for two 120mm fans. For extra cooling, you can add two more fans for a push-pull config that can reduce temperatures even further. To guarantee optimal heat transfer, it has a copper base and aluminum fins. Download the arbitrary EVGA flow control software to get complete control over settings, such as fan speed, RGB lighting, pump control, profiles, and much more. While you won't get the superior addressable RGB lighting you'd notice in NZXT, Thermaltake, or Cooler Master's newest designs, the EVGA CLC does have the same sleeve tubing and a single RGB light on the pump head that can be managed through the software. Corsair was one of the primary manufacturers to bring all-in-one liquid cooling to the pieces. Nearly a decade after the organization first began its Hydro series, Corsair is once again leading the charge with the renewed H60 as our top pick for liquid cooling on a budget. Often priced $20 cheaper than our best high-end air cooler, the 120mm H60 offers almost identical thermal and noise performance at a fraction of the cost. The renewed cooler highlights a white LED illuminated pump head, 120mm radiator, and one of Corsair's newest 120mm PWM fans. It is an all-in-one closed-loop solution for your cooling requirements. It's cooperative with a wide variety of Intel and AMD processors and comes provided with the proper mounting equipment required. Thanks to its redesigned microchannel copper plate and a spit flow manifold, the H60 offers enhanced heat transfer to its radiator, where heat is then dissipated with a quiet 120mm fan. If you want, you can add an extra 120mm fan to the radiator for a push-pull configuration that can reduce temperatures even further. Our analysis put the performance of the new H60 far ahead of its other 120mm opponents, and even in line with a few 140mm and 240mm coolers. Cooler Master's pocket-friendly Hyper 212 CPU cooler has been around for well over 10 years now. With practice like that, it comes as no shock that the newer Hyper 212 Evo has become a famous pick for affordable performance. Valued around $30, the latest update to the Hyper 212 Evo highlights four direct contact heat pipes, an enhanced aluminum heatsink, and a 120mm high airflow fan. This CPU cooler has aluminum fins and a patented continuous direct contact CDC base to guarantee that the heat pipes are free of obstacles while pulling heat away from the processor. Included with the heat sink is a single 120mm PWM fan that can be sped up or slowed down when required. An extra 120mm fan can be installed on the opposite end, using the additional set of fan brackets for even more cooling power. The Hyper 212 Evo supports a broad range of Intel and AMD processors and has a RAM clearance of 1.46 inches. From our experiment, we found that the Hyper 212 Evo decreased CPU temperatures by up to 20 degrees Celsius when related to stock cooling. Another added bonus is that the cooler itself isn't a lot larger than a stock one, indicating it tends to stay out of the way of larger RAM modules. 
With such a low cost point, we can't find any purpose why we'd stick to a stock cooler over this. It might be one of the most valuable air coolers we've examined, but Noctua's flagship NHD15 is our top pick for high-end air coolers. Based on the company's award-winning D14, the NHD15 works just as well as a handful of all-in-one liquid coolers and even beats some of them both in performance and noise levels. The cooler highlights a dual-tower heatsink and comes provided with two high airflow 140mm fans. Highlighting a nickel-plated heatsink and pipes, this dual-tower cooler also wears aluminum radiators and two NFA15 PWM cooling fans. Rendering speeds of 300 to 1500 RPM at a max noise level of 24.6 dBA, the PWM fans can be managed directly from the motherboard. With the recognition of the included low noise adapters, users can also cap the fan speed at 1200 RPM while also dropping operational sound to 19.2 dBA. A Y cable is also present, enabling you to operate both fans from a single motherboard connection. Even operating at 100%, the cooler ran quieter than just about all of its rivals. If you aren't a fan of liquid cooling or don't have the space to mount a radiator, the NHD15 is about as great as it gets for air cooling. Thanks for watching. If you liked what you saw, then hit the like button and subscribe to our channel if you loved it. Take a moment to hit the bell icon so you'll get notified of all our new latest uploads.